Hey folks, it's 4 RC here. Got a short product review video for you on a really useful accessory I've found for lithium polymer batteries. And we're looking today at a balance plug saver. What on earth is that? Well, it's something new that I've found recently. Um, I had no idea that it existed until I was browsing around the internet. Found it a couple of weeks ago, ordered some, and I think they're really good. So here's a video on them. What do they do? Well, these are for lithium polymer batteries. If you don't use LiPo batteries, then don't bother watching the video unless you're curious. If you've got LiPos, you'll be familiar with the fact that they have two cables coming out. One's your main power cable. That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the balance plug. This is not what you plug into your RC, but you plug it into your charger when you're charging it up. Now, this has got a little plug at the end that's quite small, and you might actually end up damaging that through general use. And what do I mean? Well, on your charger, you're going to have a, a balance port on the charger, or in my case, I use a parallel charging board so I can charge more than one set at once. And um, when you plug these JST, as they're called, JST connectors into here, you, they're quite stiff and you've not got a lot of purchase to get hold of when you're pulling them out. Now, you know, throughout the, the months of in and out, you're probably going to pull on these wires a bit and you might actually weaken the plug down here and actually maybe fatigue the wire, the wire snaps out. Oh no, what are you going to do? These are a real pain to fix, pain to fit a new one. So a clever little person has invented uh, these things. It's just a tiny piece of plastic. I got these from hobbyking.com. Uh, I have seen them on eBay and a few other hobby stores, but not that many, and they're certainly not very um, well publicized at the moment. I'm not sure if they're new, perhaps. Anyway, what these do is um, they're, they're hinged on one side and they've got these little teeth that click on. So you fit them onto your balance plug, and your balance plug's got a little ridge around the edge. Now that ridge sits in a channel on the balance plug protector so we slide that in there now really important on the back of your balance plug saver there are little slots here that the wires for the balance lead lay in and it will clamp onto those so you now close the connector I get that one in there close the connector and you're here click and that's the teething gate we now have a nice big area to get hold of so when I'm plugging in and out I'm not going to be grabbing onto the wires and I've now got a secure area to get hold of. Uh, I think they're fantastic. Uh, I got these from Hobby King. They come in packs of five. We're talking about UK pricing, about 25 to 30 pence for a pack of five. The prices vary depending on if you're getting, say, for a 2S battery pack, 3S, 4, 5. They do up to 6S. Um, US prices, I think that's about 40 to 55 cents. Obviously, landed delivered is going to vary depending on where you are. If you're in Australia, I hate to think what it'll cost. Anyway, um, there you go. So compared to a normal balance plug, you can see they are quite a bit larger. Um, that may or may not be a problem for your installation. It really depends on what you're doing. Um, so let's have a look at the sizes. So the actual plug itself, this is a, on a 2S pack. Um, here we're talking about, where are we at? We're about, 1.2 centimeters which is going to be about what are we looking at half an inch wide and we're looking about uh, one two three four five six six eighths or in metric we're just under two centimeters long and thickness we're looking at about uh, about eight millimeters thick or imperial that's just under three eighths. So it's not too big, so it weighs next to nothing, um, but it is going to impinge on some of your installations. Just to give you an example, um, a lot of buggies, it won't be a problem at all. Uh, if your buggy battery tray is open, you can just let the balance lead hang around. But if you've got something like this, this is a, a Traxxas e Revo, um, or maybe you've got a Traxxas Summit, they've actually got these battery boxes that close up. Now, I like these because they keep the battery nice and safe. However, um, this is a standard standard size hard case LiPo pack. If I fit that in, fortunately, because it's a standard pack and it's not too long, there's a nice space here, and I can actually get the balance plug saver nicely hidden away in there, and then I can just close the door, click, happy days, it's great. But if you um, do have one of these kind of uh, Revo or Summit models, and you've got the special packs that are longer, and uh, they've got the profiled edges that fit in the battery tray really nicely, you may find there's not enough room to fit one of those in that little space. So you're gonna have to run your balance lead 
out into the elements, uh, which is not ideal, particularly if you're out in mud and stuff, it's going to be hanging around. So it may or may not be good for you, depending on your application. Um, personally, I think they're great, really cheap product. Uh, one thing to remember, just before I finish, is get the right ones. Don't do what I did, which was find these while browsing randomly the other day. Oh, JST balance plug, yeah, that's mine. Pop it in the uh, basket, check it out. I ended up buying some 3S ones. Whoops, I don't have 3S batteries at the moment. They come in different sizes. And the reason for that is uh, the number of wires coming out of your pack. Now, a 2S pack is gonna have three wires on the balance connector, whereas a 3S pack is gonna have four. You can see it's a slightly different size, obviously, so you go bigger and bigger, 4S, 5S, 6S, you're gonna have different sizes. Just make sure you get the right size connector if you are gonna buy these. And also do shop around. So I got these from Hobby King. Um, I'm not advertising for them, I just found them there. I've seen them on eBay for a lot more money, but they are exactly the same product. So do have a shop around. Hope you found this video useful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, please post them below. Thanks for watching.